Hello, my favorite mathematicians, and welcome to 4.4 Distributive Property, where our essential question of the day is, what is distributive property, and how do I use it to find equivalent or equal expressions? Go ahead and grab your needed supplies, that writing utensil, math notebook, growth mindset, and of course, some determination as we tackle today's learning goal. By the end of this video, you should be able to say, I can use distributive property to identify equivalent expressions. Let's just go ahead and jump in and figure out what distributive property is. Well, hopefully you've heard the word distribute or to give out. I can distribute supplies to you. I can distribute markers to you. I can distribute pencils to you. Or on a really good day, maybe I distribute some candy to you. So distribute, the distributive property is to give out. Okay, so here's what we have that we're going to work with today. Here's an expression. We've got 2 times 3 plus 5. There is multiple ways we could go about simplifying this expression. We could follow our order of operations and add what is in our parentheses first. And so we know that 3 plus 5 is 8. And so we could say 2 times 8 and that. Um, we know from previous experiences means that we're going to multiply. Anytime a number and a parenthesis touch like that, we're going to multiply. 2 times 8 is 16. Another way that we could think about this is whatever's in parentheses, in this case, 3 plus 5, we have two of those. So we could rewrite this 3 plus 5 and 3 plus 5. Well, 3 plus 5 is 8, and again, it's 8. So that is the same as 8 plus 8 which is 16. So same answer, just a different strategy, a different way of getting there. Or we could use what we're going to talk about today, which is the distributive property. And what that means, we talked about just a few seconds ago that distribute means to give out, to hand out, give everybody something. We're going to take what is outside the parentheses and give it or distribute it to everything inside parentheses. What that means is we're going to take this 2 and we're going to give it to the 3 and then we're going to take some 2 and give it to the 5. And like we just said, this, the fact that my number touches my parentheses, that means to multiply. So another way of writing this using the distributive property is to say 2 times 3 plus, because I have a plus sign right here in the middle of my 3 plus 5, 2 times 5. So now if I work these parentheses, 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 times 5 is 10. 6 plus 10 is 16. That is another way of looking at this, and that is using the distributive property. This is the method and the strategy that I want you to practice today. So let's go ahead and take a peek at another one. We have 4 times 7 plus 2. If I use the distributive property, I'm going to take what is outside of the parentheses, the 4, and I'm going to give it. I'm going to distribute it to everything inside the parentheses. So it's going to look a little something like this. 4 times something plus 4 times something. Well, what goes in that first blank? 4 times what? You got it. 4 times 7. Go ahead and put some other blanks that we're going to fill in in just a minute. And then what's going to go in the other blank? 4 times 2. All right, from here, these new blanks that have appeared, we're going to do this. So 4 times 7 is 28, and 4 times 2 is 8. 28 plus 8 is 36. So I'm simplifying that. I'm finding equal expressions that are the same using distributive property. So all three of these lines are equivalent expressions. They all simplify down to 36, okay? All right, so that's it. It really is simply just taking what is outside and multiplying it by everything inside. I'm going to go ahead and tell you the common mistake, the thing that everyone messes up on. What you will do, what the mistake is, is people like to take the 4 and multiply it by the 7, but they forget to multiply it by the 2. And I just want you to think, if I'm dealing out Jolly Ranchers in class and I deal it to table 1 and then I deal it to table 2 and I stop, are you going to be happy if you sit at table 3? No. This 2 is not happy when you forget to multiply it by 4. you got to distribute it. you got to give it to everything. Okay? With that being said, mathematicians, it is time for you to pause this video and try the next few problems in your notes and then come back and check your answers. 
All right, here are the answers. Hopefully you showed your work. If you didn't, let's go back and do that right now, please. And you distributed to everything inside the parentheses. And did you catch that if there's a subtraction sign in the parentheses, then you actually subtract instead of add? Did you catch that? Good. All right, mathematicians, that is the end of 4.4 distributive property. I hope you can now answer the essential question, what is distributive property and how do I use it to find equivalent expressions? Let me go ahead and give that shout out to Amy Grosbeck, Amanda Newsom, and Wright Lovely for their amazing fonts and clip arts. Mathematicians, go forth and be amazing.